كاد الورق المصنع من نبات البرد أن يدخل طي النسيان لكن قرية القراموس بمحافظة الشرقية إحدى محافظات دلتا النيل بمصر أوجدت له في وقتنا الحاضر مكان لتحوله إلى مصدر دخل لأغلب سكانها بروح أجيب عيدان ملغية الصبح وقطعها على المتوه والبنات تشرخها تشرخها اللي هي شرايح البلد كلها هنا بتشتغل في البرد لأن البلد أول بلد بتشتغل إيه بتجيب بتصنع البردي على مستوى الشرقية أو على مستوى مصر على كلها البردي دخل القرية عن طريق رجل شغل في كان شغل فنون جميلة وبعدين جاب شتلة البردي دي فانتشرت في البلد هنا والبلد كلها عادت بالشغل في, في البردي ده الزرعة دي بتفضل على مدار السنة كلها نقطع منها أخذ الشرايح دي ببطسها البطاس دي بطر الشريحة بخليها لينا كده علشان ايه يعرفوا ايه يرصوها بعد كده بعد ما الشريحه بتبقى مستويه اللي هي بتبقى لينه يعني بروح جاي حاططها في الكرول الكرول دي بنحط عليه ميه برضه يعني بحط مقدار كرول كده على الميه وانزل الشرايح دي فيها عشان تديني اللون اللي انا عايزه اللي هو بيبقى مطلوب مني الورقه لونها كذا بعد ما البنات بترص العصرة ديت اللي هي بوب الورق احنا مسمينه عصرة عندنا العصرة ديت بتبقى مثلا هي خمسين ورقة مئة ورقة حسب العصرة اللي هي بترص بدخلها المكبس المكبس ديت بعصرها وبطلعها الورقة بتنشف خالص بتتخذ من هنا بتطلع بقى مرحلة تانية اللي هي ايه المطبعة المطبعة دي بتعمل الطبعة اللي هي ايه اخر حاجة علشان تنباع بعد كده الورق But nowadays we have a special places for it. Yeah, it's considered to be a holy plant for the Egyptian people because of two reasons. The first reason is the shape of the flower, looks like the rays of the sun and we use it for making perfumes. The second shape is the shape of the stem, takes a pyramidal shape like the pyramids and pyramids will symbol of eternal life. The flower we use it for making perfumes, the stem we will use for making such a piece of paper like this one here behind me. By cut the stem into small pieces vertical and horizontal according to the size of the picture we would like to make. I'll cut a small one to show you how. Then we will remove the green part. This greenish cover was used for making baskets, sandals, boats, and robes because it's so flexible and so strong as well, you see. But the most important part is this wide inner part. We slice this into small slices, but as a natural plant, it has a percentage of sugar and water inside the slices and it was ethical by the Egyptian people like sugar cane because it's very sweet. But the slice is very prickly, you see. So a slice is very weak like this is not good for anything. So what we have to do is use this rolling band to squeeze a little percentage of sugar and water out of the slices and the prick the fiber inside the slices to make the slices stronger and flexible than before by this rolling band. Where do you come from? Canada. Oh, the French part or the English part? French part. French part. The rest of us English. The rest Okay. Then you watch the slice, you get a strong, flexible, elastic slices. Then we will put the slices here to change the colors for three days or six days. The difference is the color of the paper we would like to make. Three days you have the light papyrus like this color, six days you have got the brownish color papyrus like that one there. So the longer it leaves the slices and the plain water, the color changes to be dark. It doesn't affect the quality of the paper we have, it's just all about the color, which one we like. Next is the stage as we bring carpets, two pieces of carpets like those ones here, and we start to weave the slices, one vertical and one horizontal. In the ancient days, people did not have carpets. 
like this one. They used something else. They used the skin of the animals to weave the slices like this in between them. Crisscross, very close to each other, has no spaces, has no holes in between them to make the slices to stick. So what will make the slices to stick together after that is a percentage of sugar inside the slices. So on and so on till here. Then we cover it. And this is to absorb the moisture because it's very wet and we put them under anything heavy. Goes back to the ancient times, people had rocks or heavy stones, but nowadays we have the press machine, so we press them hard under the press. And we will wait. Amazing, the ancient Egyptians could have figured all this out. Yes, right? yes, it's amazing how can these people actually figure out about all of that because sometimes when you see a flower or a mm -hmm. plant like that, mm -hmm. you wouldn't, for yeah. you know, <laughs> yeah, understand Skinned that you can get a sheet of papyrus out of this yeah. plane. So, mm -hmm. three days here, the same here, six days of for the brown papyrus, the same under the press. What come, uh, comes out, we put them under the sun for one day, and this is what comes out after three days in the plain water, and the three days under the press, and one day under the sun to dry. So the orca brownish like that, six days here, six days under the press, and the same one day to dry. When you get this paper, the paper is very strong, okay? It's very flexible, and when you touch the paper, it feels the paper very smooth. For this paper against any source of light, you can see the weaves. This is the difference, how can you recognize the difference in between the original papyrus paper which has crisscrossed and small brown spots all over the slices and fake one from banana leaves, so slices on that fake papyrus goes in one direction. And we say paper in English by the way because it comes from papyrus.